Today I'm at PDAC 2022. They're at record capacity here and we're delighted to have Byron W. King with us. Byron, how are you? I'm doing just great. PDAC is great. My goodness, just getting in this morning was a was a chore. There's a 45 minute wait outside. They had Toronto police controlling the crowd and then over an hour to get your, get your badge. So uh, I got here a little bit early, so I only had to wait like about 55 minutes, but uh, yeah, that's with pre-registration. This place is crowded, it tells you something. It does tell us something, but for our audience, could you tell them what it is that, that it tells them? If you haven't figured it out yet, stuff is back, okay? All that pie in the sky, vaporware, software, vapor, crypto, all that, it's goodbye, hello, real things. Hello, rocks in the ground, ores, minerals, copper, lead, zinc, gold, silver, platinum, palladium, rare earths. This is where it's at, right here. And of course, you're reading my mind, Byron. I want to know, there's a lot of critical materials. There's 35, we've got the base, gold, everything here. Pick one for us or pick your top three. Well, the one is copper because you know, whatever happens with the world, the stock market goes up, the stock market goes down, war in Ukraine, peace in Ukraine, whatever, copper. The world needs copper to do what the world's going to do in the next, you know, the next cycle. Uh, so number one is copper, number two is copper, and you know, then we can get into, you know, we can get it, and then, I'll, I'll, you know, okay, gold, silver, because look what's going on with, you know, with the world's economies, plural, you know, the dollar, the euro zone, uh, you know, uh, it's inflation's out of control. Gold is going to have another run. Okay, so if gold's going to have another run, you know, of course, the numbers are not backing you yet. Of course, I'm also a gold bug, as you know, Byron. While you're here on the floor, can you talk to us about something you've seen interesting here today already? Well, the couple of the really interesting things that I saw today are just classic gold mining stories. Uh, I visited the core shack and I was looking at Newfound Gold, for example, up in you know, Newfoundland. And uh, we were looking at the core and it's this quartzite that they're pulling out of the ground. And you can just see the little flakes of gold in the quartz. I mean, it's super high grade ore, uh, fabulous visible gold right there at the surface, ready to mine. Uh, at this, you know, on another angle of the mining industry, I visited with the Barrick people, the nice people from Barrick, and particularly their northern Nevada operations uh, in, the, in that partnership that they have with Newmont. And they, the very, very nice geologist said, she, she showed us this box of core and said, which one do you think has the highest gold content? And, and because these are Carlin deposits where it's the invisible gold. And I, I think it was probably the fourth or fifth guess before I found the scuzziest, most disgusting looking piece of rock on, you know, in their core box. And we pulled it out and it's in the range of about uh, 20 ounces per ton, 450 some, uh, you know, grams per ton of, uh, of, 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 of invisible gold, Carlin style gold. So, I mean, classic old gold mining districts are there uh, and they are, they're, re they're producing, they're ready to produce. Uh, and then, you know, then we start to get into the exploration plays, which are a whole other story, and we could talk about that too, but you know, you, I'm sure you have another question. I do, but let's go to copper for just a sec second. Have you dropped by any of the copper booths? And, and if so, which one have you looked at so far this morning? Well, when somebody says, you know, find me an up and coming copper player, uh, I, the first word that pops into my head is Kodiak, Kodiak Copper, uh, wonderful management team, uh, outstanding uh, drilling results so far. Uh, really, uh, you know, it's, it's an early stage play. You know, they're into their exploration. You know, they're, they're not really, uh, they, they haven't come out with a big, huge resource or anything like that, but they're doing all the right things in all the right places to find one of those big deposits that really moves the needle and moves the share price, Kodiak, Kodiak Copper. Well, I know we're preparing for a silver panel next, and you're going to be one of the experts. So if you'll come back and visit with us, because we want to ask you about critical materials, and in particular rare earths uh, during PDAC, I hope you'll join us again, Byron. I'm Thank happy you. to join again, and good luck to all the investors out there. And like I said, stuff is back. It's time to get back into stuff. Real things, 
real things, not that vaporware stuff, okay? I told, I'm telling you, do it.